Hey, welcome, it's Eric Roberts with Apex Piano, and today I'm gonna to be opening and reviewing this entire piano tuning kit from Kuncha. LO piano tuning kit, you can get it on Amazon for around 50 bucks. Has everything you would need to tune a piano. I'm gonna open it up and show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Like I said, this is a one in all kit for tuning a piano. It includes a tuning hammer, some screwdrivers, some mutes, and actually one thing I really like about this kit is it includes all of the mutes uh, that I actually use, uh, several different kinds of mutes that I use. And so I'll get into this right now. This is uh, uh, got basically uh, a tuning hammer. We'll start with that. This is a, a student hammer. So this would be the beginning tuning hammer that you would use as a student. So uh, this is a tuning hammer. You can see it's just, a, it's got a star bit on it right there. And I'm gonna put this on the piano and show it to you as soon as I pull all this out. Now this is brand new, it's from Amazon. It's got these little blue rubber mutes, okay? These little blue rubber mutes. And I would not need all of these to tune a piano, but I'll use some of these to tune a piano. And it comes with these little sticks. And this is how you would actually open this up and do this. You would take this stick and you would stick it right into the center of the mute. And you probably have to cram it in there. So let's try this, see what happens. These are kind of rubber. These are actually pretty nice. They're nice little rubbery blue. And you just cram these in here. Don't cram your, uh, don't like poke this through your hand. You're gonna to wanna to cram this stick in here. And this is basically how uh, piano tuning mutes are. They're traditionally, they're just a, a stick and then like a rubber mute. So you can use these with or without the stick, I guess. So I would stick these all the way in here. And these are, these are actually interesting like rubber. They're a very interesting type of rubber. They're kind of um, like a rubbery rubber. I don't know if that's a good description. All right, so this is a little, a smaller, rubber mute and again you can take it's got like a little um, thing you just shove it right in and then you can take this uh, for the upright this is good for the upright so you have plenty of these blue rubber mute I'm not going to focus too much on these screwdrivers but a phillips head and a straight screwdriver that's actually good to have this little piece in in the kit is a tuning hammer uh, tip changer so you can actually use this uh, to change the tips. This is a removable tip. So if you have multiple sizes of tips, you can put this in here. And this is actually very useful for later on if you wanna change tips. Um, you've got a couple of little things like this. These are, these are very useful too. Um, they're not piano specific maybe, but they're like little um, tweezers in different sizes. And I use these all the time. I use some, some like medical type tweezers too, but these are gonna help you get inside little spaces, uh, change it. Now these are tuning temperament strips. And I do not, uh, the way I teach, I use all mutes. I don't use the temperament strips, but a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of piano tuners who tune the temperament by ear and things like that will use temperament strips. What I use this for is for repairs. Anytime you need a repair, you can cut off a little piece of felt. So you have actually a plenty of felt. You have three temperament strips. And a lot of people will strip the whole piano. So if you're gonna tune like that, then this, this is right, you have three temperament strips. And so I, I suppose that'd be good. I, I wouldn't use those. But what I would use is the Paps treble mute. And this is, I'm really excited about this being in this kit. Actually, this is probably one of the best parts of the kit because this is a Paps treble mute. And it looks, I'm not sure if it's the original Paps treble mute, but you have two of them. You have a blue one uh, and you have, I'm gonna pull this out here. You have a blue one and you have a, a white one a clear one, or a translucent one. They look to be about the same. These are the, the mutes that I use in an upright. Okay, so these are called Paps Treble Mute. And from what I can tell, these are not the original Paps Treble Mute. I have the originals. These look like maybe like a, a knockoff version of the, of the original Paps Treble Mute, but still they would work and they're used for upright uh, muting. And these are some of the best mutes available. I would say you definitely want these in your kit. So I'm glad it comes with this. The second type of mute I'm really happy with in this kit is these little um, felt wedge mutes. Now these are the types of wedge mutes that I use on a grand. These are not the exact size that I use. And this one is really big, but it's, you could use this uh, for muting out the bass notes. You can use this to go up they're just different sizes than what I'm used to seeing, uh, but that's not a bad thing. The good thing is that you have some felt wedge mutes uh, that you can use, and I would definitely use these uh, to go 
through the grand piano. These are the kind of use. This one's a little bit big, but I could you could cut this right down the middle and then you would have two more. So I'm not sure why you need this one to be this big, but I do have wedge mutes. They're felt wedge mutes and they're the same sort of style as this. These are a little softer, um, just like these, the rubber mutes are a little softer, but they're pliable, but they're definitely good. You can also use these for repairs. You can cut this felt up, it's good for repairs. And it's got the case, so you, you know, it's got a nice case to it. So if you wanna have the case, you can keep this in there. Uh, but let's put this tuning hammer on a, on a grand piano. So this goes right on the grand piano, just like this. I'm gonna open this up and we'll play a note or two here. And we'll take this, uh, these, we'll take first of all, my favorite types of mutes, which is, a, which is the felt mutes. And we're gonna put those in the strings just like that. And then you can uh, take the tuning hammer get it right and then you can move right onto the next one you can clean that unison up just like that with this tuning hammer you can just move up the piano that's exactly how I would do it uh, this is a very lightweight hammer it's a very uh, beginning hammer it's a student hammer I would call this whole kit a student kit um, for example this entire kit would cost around 50 to $60 on Amazon, depending on what country you're in or depending on uh, maybe where w what seller you're buying it from. I'm assuming it's from this exact seller and it would be about 50, 60. Now, the tuning hammer I use is a carbon fiber professional tuning hammer and it's uh, alone, it costs $400. So I wanna make sure you guys understand that about this tuning kit is it has um, some really good stuff in it that I would use. And uh, like uh, the Paps Treble Mute is a great bonus, great plus. The felt mutes are great plus. I would use these things a lot. Uh, and then it has some other stuff like some screwdrivers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but just for those items alone, and then it has a couple little niche items like the changing the head on your tuning hammer thing. Those are those are great things. But just these, um, just these few items here, the rubber mutes and the felt mutes that it has, you can use this stuff alone in the course to tune pianos or to learn to tune pianos. You can tune a whole piano with just these three items, just these two felt mutes and the tuning hammer, or add in the Paps treble mute, and then you have a great combo. Add in another one, you have an even better combo, and maybe a rubber mute in case you wanna get into a hard to reach place. This right here would be well worth uh, spending the money on getting this. This is what you would need to do the course if you're gonna to learn to tune pianos with me or just tune your piano, you would need at least a few mutes and a good tuning hammer. Uh, and like I said, this would be in the relative uh, student-based tuning hammers. And professional high-grade tuning hammers alone would cost 100 to 300, some even $500. But this would be a good recommendation for you if you're trying to just touch up your piano, if you're trying to learn, trying to start a course, trying to go to piano school, and you're trying to get the basic tools of tuning, they're right here, around 50 bucks, great value, great starter kit, and then you could build on, maybe you're gonna keep some of those tools uh, together and start building your greater kit. So anyway, check the link in the description. Again, this is on Amazon, it's available. The link will be in the description. Also, you can uh, go to Apex Piano and learn to tune pianos right here at apexpiano.com. God bless, we'll see you on the next video.